Water is essential for food security, human health, biodiversity, energy supply, industrial growth, and urban development. It has no substitute. So how we manage water is critical to human development. Global demand for water has grown fourfold in 60 years. Clearly that is not sustainable. At the same time, water resources have become more variable with the increased occurrence of extreme floods and droughts. So we need to change the way we safeguard and manage water resources to create a water secure world. Through IMI research, we aim to solve water problems to provide a sustainable pathway for human, social and economic development while protecting the environment. A critical area of focus is digital innovation. Gaps in knowledge and information hold back the world's ability to respond to growing water challenges and meet the sustainable development goals. Water data are often insufficient, of uncertain quality, inaccessible or simply non-existent in many developing countries. Yet, technologies for data collection, such as satellites, sensors and mobile phone applications, are generating vast quantities of information on the world's river systems, aquifers, watersheds and freshwater ecosystems, in addition to data on the ways in which these water systems are accessed and used by people and across different sectors of the economy. IMI is researching better methods of harvesting, using and deploying diverse data and innovations in order to promote informed policy and investment decisions at farm, landscape, river basin and international levels. On the ground, IMI researchers are working with farmers and providers of solar irrigation pumps to build in Internet of Things technology that can provide essential information on the level of groundwater resources. With that information, we can guide a much more sustainable, accessible and inclusive use of irrigation technology. And in the sky, IMI is working with various different partners to gather remote sensing data from satellites that can, when combined with artificial intelligence or machine learning, enable us to be much better prepared for floods and droughts. We are also exploring how the use of social media channels can help us track extreme events and guide responses as we did during the recent cyclone Amphan. Earlier this year, we announced a new partnership that is building on decades of satellite information that is being consolidated into a data cube so that our researchers can develop tools to enhance the ability of governments, communities and companies to better manage their water and strengthen water security. And finally, so-called environmental flow or e-flow online calculators give quick accessible assessment of the quantity, quality and timing of water flows needed to sustain a freshwater ecosystem. In 2017, the IMI model was adopted as the official global means for countries to report on levels of water stress within the framework of the Sustainable Development Goals and SDG 6.4.2. Now, as we join together in one CGIR to end hunger by 2030 through science to transform food, land and water systems in a climate crisis, we at IMI look forward to sharing more detail on our digital innovation program and learning more about how we can collaborate together.